Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we've got a new one. This is the first of many um, of what I've picked up anyway in terms of the uh, plasticless packaging. Um, yeah, look, I'll reserve thoughts uh, for another time. Um, I have spoken about it on a couple of live streams and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not super crash hot on the idea, um, just because I feel like it's going to cause more problems uh, than it's than required. Um, and really, I don't know that... I don't know, I feel like there's a better way around it. But this is what we've got. Um, and I'll give them credit, because it like for a box art, it, it looks okay. Um, yeah, not, not my cup of tea. I don't care, I'm opening them, it doesn't really matter, but, you know... We'll, I'm going to talk about it anyway, aren't I? Um, but I'll make it the last time. <laughs> um, you know, us Hasbro collectors, we all know that, uh, you know, even with window pack windowed packaging, we are uh, come across enough QC issues. Um, so to actually, to essentially be walking home blind box um, and for the price increase, it is a little bit daunting. Um, definitely makes you second guess whether you want to get it or not. Um, and potentially, you know, having to then jump back in the car and return it if it's not, not up to quality. So, um, yeah, so, so far I've got a couple, um, not a problem at all. So we're, we're good here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have a look at the packaging cause yeah, they have done a good job. It's got all the accessories listed on the back. Um, cool picture of the figure. Uh, I do like the original sort of Spider-Man artwork from the Amazing Fantasy. Uh, some of the Spider-Man figures do have Spider-Man, 60 amazing years. So, um, yeah, without further ado, we'll stop looking at cardboard and we'll look at the figure. All right, folks, so what you have in front of you is, in my opinion, one of the best Spider-Mans that has come out in, uh, or a lot in recent years. Um, you know, this, you know, great nod back to, to the, uh, the original appearance of Spider-Man. Um... This is a must-have for all Spider-Man fans, in my opinion. Um, it's just a really good figure. Nice set of accessories. As you can see, four sets of hands, including the two uh, thwipping hands that are on the figure presently. Um, I can't remember which order they came in on the figure. Um, but yeah, it, it is really nice. Uh, as you can see, you've got the uh, spider, spider web wings, um, which are removable and replaceable with the uh, more sort of stretched out uh, sort of look and they are they're a little bit tricky they do pop out they're not the best um, so if you're sort of ready to sort of pose your spider-man on your shelf for a while um, worthwhile putting them on because it does look cool um, just you know again it's, it's it's that nod back to the uh, to the old the old days of spider-man I love the I love the figure itself you know no pins in the joints it's all sort of nice and fluid the paint's really nice. Um, it's simple, but effective. And see, so, yeah, just the wing just sort of popped out again. So we'll leave them aside for the moment. That's fine. All the articulation you want. This guy can actually squat and sort of stand with his hand on the ground, which is fantastic. And I'll show that afterwards as I do a little bit of hand swap and sort of play around with the uh, swap out hands and articulation and stuff. So yeah, we've got a couple of fists, which you know most Spider-Mans do come with. I think each Spider-Man going forward should have all of these hands um, at, at a minimum. See, we do have sort of wall crawling hands, uh, the sort of web gripping hands, which, you know, that's that seems to be the one that is left out most. And of course, the two whipping hands there. Um, we do have the spider web, which we've seen a few times um, in the past, but that's cool. It's a nice little added accessory if you, you know, you've got somewhere to hang that up. You can have Spidey hanging up and do what you will with it. It's good. It's good fun. I've had a lot of fun playing with this figure. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, really, really impressed with it. Um, you know, that nice sort of old school simple design. Simple sort of spider logo on the back. Yeah, I'm going to, at this point, just pop at his hands. We're just going to have a little play around while we're talking about him. And, um, yeah, just sort of switch some stuff out. And that's that's nice and easy. And, um, you know, for most other sort of Spider-Man figures, particularly the uh, Renew Your Vows one, 
uh, that is also just coming out. I'm about to review that next. Uh, the one that comes with Spinneret. Um, all these hands uh, work with that figure too because they're the same color, same red, same black lines. Uh, it's it's perfect. So, you know, you want to use these sort of web hanging hands because that Spider-Man doesn't come with these. So you can use that and, you know, use the web and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's cool. So... Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, definitely a really nicely articulated Spider-Man. You can sort of see how nice and tight those, those sort of knee joints get up in there with the, uh, so yeah, just as I'm sort of posing him around, you really get a good look at the, uh, the posability and already got him in that sort of, you know, sitting on a ledge. Yeah, it takes a little bit of tweaking just to get that sort of counterweight. You know, widen his stance a little bit just so he sort of leans forward a little bit more. He sort of just that just sort of landed arm out pose. Superhero landing. But yeah, you can certainly tweak him a little bit more. The sort of fingers down a little bit. Poke the arm around. And there you get that sort of sort of classic crouching Spider-Man on the edge of a building. Looks really, really nice. I haven't tried any head swaps with any existing Spider-Man figures, um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the with the way the head looks on this one. I think it looks good. Again, sort of nice and simple. The other one I'd really like to get, um, there are a few Spider-Mans out there at the moment I'd like to get, the Iron Spider that's just come out, the Spider-Man Noir uh, from uh, Into the Spider-Verse, but there's the uh, Japanese Spider-Man, which I'd love to get a hold of. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get that one, I think. I, again, it's just another classic, classic looking Spider-Man. Um, yeah, really cool, really cool stuff. I, I dig it. Nice little nod to sort of Spider-Man history, but it, yeah, I, I love this body mold. I love what Hasbro's done with this. Um, all the accessories, you know, you can really get those arms back with those butterfly joints. Very nice and sort of dynamic poses with this thing, which is what you want for Spider-Man. You know, he's got he's got to pose, he's got to move around and look awesome while he's doing it. So. Yeah, I really just wanted to share that sort of feature of him being able to sort of squat like that on the shelf um because not all spider-mans have been able to do that super well in the past um i know i had far from qualified to say that i've had them all but i've had a, had a bunch over the years and um yeah i do wish like some of the mcu spider-mans would come with all the different hands rather than just fists and whip hands um just some more relaxed hands would be great um but that's cool anyway let's wrap this one up this is the amazing fantasy 1962 Spider-Man. Really, really nice figure. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, like I said, next up we're looking at the um, the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows pack, twin pack. So stay tuned for that one or that'll drop 24 hours from this one. So thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I also thought I'd point out the... Um, just the little holes where the uh, wing bars sort of pop into. And uh, yeah, they're a little bit fiddly just because they are such a light little piece. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks a little bit funny, but that's okay. That's, that's for you to play with and decide whether you like them or not. So, all right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. Please, any comments, feedback, anything down below, please send out. Love to hear it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.